Eric Prince is the founder and former CEO of Blackwater. Now, for those of you who don't remember Blackwater, it's the private military contracting company, or as we used to call it, it's a mercenary army. Well, uh, he's now considering writing a memoir. Man, that is guaranteed to be the biggest piece of propaganda in American history. If he decides to write it, it's not 100% yet, and you know, there's a small chance that he's gonna write a mea culpa and he's gonna convince things, but it's highly unlikely. So let me just refresh your memory real quick. Jeremy Scahill wrote a groundbreaking book on uh, Blackwater, it's fantastic. And uh, Blackwater was an organization that was in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and they would pay the soldiers, their private soldiers, who paid for it with our tax dollars, right? They would pay them over $100,000. Meanwhile, our soldiers would be working for half that, right? And the soldiers would be pissed, like, what, like, what the fuck? It's like their country's selling them out, right? By giving the private uh, army people who do the same thing more money, right? So they pissed off the army, and they were also incredibly Christian, Eric Prince, is an evangelical Christian. Uh, he comes from an evangelical family. They were always really close with the Pat Robertsons of the world and the John Hagees of the world and the Jerry Falwells, far right wing. Now you tell me, you see something maybe wrong with taking a private Christian army and putting it in the heart of the Holy Land for the Muslims. No, 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 nothing wrong there. In fact, I think the people in Iraq would love that and all the Muslims in the world would love that. It was so incredibly arrogant, and it's amazing that our government actually funded these people and allowed them to do what they do. But I haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. So they operated above the law. So the international law and the guidelines, the Geneva Convention, the Nuremberg Tribunal, all that, that they hold our soldiers to a, a, some kind of a standard. I don't want to say the highest standard, because oftentimes U.S. soldiers get away with quite a bit, right? But the Blackwater guys would operate as if law didn't apply to them, and it didn't. There were many instances of them just flat out murdering civilians and then just getting away. No uh, trial, no jail time, no nothing. Now, putting all those things together, what you have here is a nightmare organization. And it's the exact problem with privatizing uh, a military which is something that historically was always viewed as a horrible thing. Look, certain functions have to be government functions, have to be public. And uh, the military is one of them, and we violated that rule. And I'll be interested to see if Eric Prince writes this uh, biography or memoir, what he has to say for himself.